The Mimosa B5 Lite radio box comes with two complete radio sets, including the cable gland, the mount, mount clamp, the power supply, and the radio itself. Things that are not included in the box, a screwdriver, wrench, and you'll need to provide your own Cat6 Ethernet cable as the cable length needed for your installation will vary. The required tools are only the Phillips screwdriver and a fixed or adjustable wrench. The mount can be affixed to a wall by using one of the four smaller screws or other longer screws throughout the holes on the corner. Placing the base mount securely affords the most flexibility for the mount in a vertical and horizontal adjustments, as well as a pivot to adjust the third dimension for aiming. Next, prepare the radio to be attached to the mount. On the back of the radio, you can slide the pipe clamp through the slot in preparation for securing the radio to the mount. Use the screwdriver to tighten the clamp such that it will just barely fit over the mount. If you're using a pre-terminated Ethernet cable, you'll need to carefully cut the grooves in the cable gland to fit the connector, and insert the end through the narrow end of the gland. Or, if you plan to use non-terminated cable, you can make your run through the gland and then terminate your cable connector. With the included lubricant, bead the inside lower edge where the cable enters the gland, as well as the tip of the Ethernet cable. Then, plug the cable into the radio and attach the gland to seal the cable area. Snap the country-specific plug adapter onto the power supply. Attach the radio to the mount. Connect the other end of the Ethernet cable into the power supply in the port labeled Data Plus Power.